well, I was very lucky to chair uh, an educational session of about how we are dealing with high-risk perioperative systemic treatment of patients with RCC and urothelial cancer. That was amazing because we learned from Dr. Joaquin Belmont, who talked about genit uh, who talked about urothelial carcinoma perioperative management, uh, James Larkin, who talked about the perioperative treatment of RCC, and a topic that I think it is becoming more and more important: what should we do with all of oligometastatic setting in these oligometastatic diseases that uh, well extremely well addressed by Elizabeth Klimak in this field. Uh, what are the main uh, the take-home messages from these presentations? Well, in the field of urothelial cancer, Joachim Belmont showed us how many phase three randomized trials we have up and running in the neoadjuvant setting in both cisplatin eligible patient population and cisplatin ineligible patient population. He um, offered a broad range of the current challenges to select patients in daily practice for that. He put in context the data of the Checkmate 274, the use of NIVO as an adjuvant treatment and how this approval of NIVO in this, in this field can affect the neoadjuvant approaches and how we should select patients for NIVO adjuvant in daily practice. This is really challenging this field. In the field of renal cell carcinoma, well, unfortunately, during this ESMO meeting, three phase three trials are presented. Um, Emotion 010 with atezolizumab, Prosper with nivolumab, and the Checkmate 914 with the combination of nivolumab, pipilimumab. Unfortunately, none of these three phase three trials are meeting the primary endpoint of disease freeze or relapse free survival in this field. This is very challenging. James did a great talk and addressed the thing of, okay, we have three phase three negative trials in one hand, one phase three, the Keynote 564 with pembrolizumab positive, clearly positive for disease free survival in the other hand, uh, who, which one is, is waiting more, you know? Uh, well, it's a very challenging topic. Today, Tom Pauls in the discussion said, okay, we have a positive trial. This trial, this drug is working because it has shown in a phase three prospective trial, well designed, that it is working. The thing is why the others are not. So, uh, well, a lot of debate will come in the, in the clinic. And finally, the oligometastatic disease, the oligometastatic topic, well, extremely well addressed by um, Dr. Plimak. Uh, she did a wonderful presentation. We have a lot of data saying that, okay, if you have the opportunity to operate your patients with metastasis, to become your patients R0, so fully resected tumors, I think this is an opportunity to cure that patients. The thing is, should we offer for systemic treatment after surgery? This is an issue. Kinophysis for in our RCC patients are supporting the use of adjuvant, uh, adjuvant in the sense that metastatic setting R0, fully resected tumors, pembrolizumab can work in delaying the disease free survival but not yet getting the curation. We don't have the data so far. In the RCC field, well, traditionally, we were operating this patient, and traditionally, well, after the resection, we don't, we are not fully convinced that we can, we should treat all these patients.